Today on Rift Beards and Gear, we check out the Crim MIDI drum library from Bogren Digital. If you have seen anything on this channel before, you will have seen the Bogren Digital stuff and you would know what a huge fan I am of the Bogren Digital you know, plug-in audio tools, as I like to call them. Guitar amp sims, bass amp sims, IRs, all sorts of stuff. And now, Bogren Digital are dipping their little toes into the MIDI drum game with Crim Drums. Now, before we go any further, you can consider this a sponsored video as Bogren Digital has sent me the Crim Drums to show you guys. However, all thoughts and opinions are mine. So Crim Drums is a melding, a soup, a metal soup if I may, between Jens Bogren and Krim. Now, Jens has obviously worked with, you know, Arch Enemy, Baby Metal, and Devin Townsend, and Krim is current drummer for Septic Flesh, but has also worked with Decapitated and Behemoth. So when you put that together to create the Krim MIDI drum library, you, you basically get the most metal drums on the planet. All right, so I have an instance of the Crim Drums. I want to note that this is a stereo instance. Now for the mix, because it was a mix scenario, I multied out and I individually processed the different kit pieces. However, I'm gonna start from scratch. This is the stock configuration on a stereo instance, and I'm gonna show you around the plugin. I'm gonna show you the ins and outs, no pun intended, of the plugin, and uh, we're gonna talk about it and kinda go through the various sounds you can get with Crim Drums. So, here is the default view. You will know, notice that there are three main buttons. We have Kit View, we have Mixer, and we have Grooves. And then on to here uh, to the right, we have the anti-machine gun switch, which I always leave on. And we have an auto double kick uh, switch, which I also, I like on. And we're gonna start with the Kit View. This is the kit. We have a couple of different options and some key points, but overall, these are the sounds that you have to work with, and they are wonderful sounds. Now, for those of you coming from either Tune Track or something like Get Good, I would say, in my opinion, that these drums are kind of in between those two extremes. For me, I would say the Tune Track stuff is mostly pretty raw and meant to be processed like a real drum kit would. The get good stuff is very, very processed and out of the box, you know, super polished sounding. This is in between those two things. So if you're looking for either one of the other, um, if you want more raw drum tones, you can get that. If you want to utilize the tools that are in this plugin, which we will get to in just a second, you can also make them really, really polished out of the box. Okay. So knowing that, Let's start with the basic kit view. We have the snare. I like the default snare. We have two different kinds of snares. We have the Kenny Beauty and the Ultra Class. This is my default sound. I'm gonna use the same MIDI that I used for the Suffer song, the tune that you just heard. This is what it sounds like doing nothing to this kit. I like that snare. I like that it has a little bit of ring to it and that's not something I wanna take out of it. I like that ring. However, let's, uh, let's try this ultra class snare. It's tuned a little lower, uh, it's a little different tonality uh, and that's cool and that can work with a lot of stuff but for this particular uh, song, I like the Kenny Beauty. Uh, now for the toms, you're gonna have two different choices. You're going to have a clear option and a coded option. Now the clear option is gonna be a little bit more top endy, a little bit more attack E. The coded is gonna be a slightly more mellow attack uh, for the toms. I personally 
like the coded. There's the coded, here's the clear. It's subtle, but in the context of a mix, it could determine if your, your toms are going to cut correctly or not. Now, as far as the symbols go, uh, you can either turn them on or off with the exception of, I mean, I guess with the China, you can just choose if it's uh, China one or two. China one. I prefer China too, uh, but really, that's really it. I like the hi-hats. Um, I think they sound very, very good. It's not something that I would normally change. That is the, the hi-hat sound that I go for. So let's go ahead and move to the mixing view. There is a lot going on here, and this is a very, very powerful section for the crim drums. Here is how I look at things. Right now I am on the master and because I am on the stereo out, there are effects that we will get to on the master. But I want, I want you to pay attention to, if I click on a kick, the kick channel, the kick sub, the trigger, the snare, there are individual uh, effects sections for each component of the drum kit. For example, if I play this pas passage again, That kick is for me and this song, it's a little, it's a little tuppy, but that's okay because I can find fine tune it to my mix. I can go here on an insert and I can grab an EQ and I can go ahead and play it and I can kind of fine tune that if I want. Let's go ahead and do that. There's some low mids that I'm not particularly fond of. Let's go ahead and dial that in a little bit. Also added some, some upper mids, just a little bit to accentuate the, uh, the kind of clickiness that I'm looking for in the kit. And there we go. Now, what I could also do is I could send the kick uh, to some reverb long, reverb short. We'll play with those in just a second. I'm not gonna do that with the kick right now. We can also play with the pitch of the kick. Let's go ahead and try that. See how it kind of tightened it up by just kind of raising the pitch of the kick? That's super, super cool. Now with the envelope, we could do a um, the attack, hold, and decay stuff. This is by default off. I don't feel like really uh, messing with this at all. Also with the bleed control, with the overheads and the rooms, we have control over that. Again, I'm gonna leave this right where it's at. But I have fine tuned the kick in the context of, of this drum kit mix, which is super, super cool. And these are available on all of these channels. And they vary slightly because like the, if there's a trigger, uh, you're gonna have some different options. However, most of the time you have three inserts uh, let's see with the uh, the snare top. Let's go ahead and maybe we add some beef to that. Now for me, that bottom, the bottom snare mic, it's a little loud. So I'm gonna play it again and I'm gonna fine tune the volume and if I need to, I'll grab an insert. Now I'm gonna go up here to this, the main mixer here and I'm gonna turn down, I'm gonna turn down the overheads as a whole.
I like how that sounds. Uh, I'm gonna check the rooms. I'm actually gonna compress the overheads a little bit. Let's try it. Now, the cool part about all of this is because this is on the master as well, my options to have effects, I can now do all sorts of cool stuff I would normally do outside of the plugin instance. So we have our reverbs, short and long. We have parallel compression, which I will note, I'm not sure of any other drum software that has an actual gain reduction meter. We have master EQ and master tape. Now, right now I'm gonna turn these off and we'll slowly turn them on. I'm gonna play this passage again and I'm working on the master. Because I am stereo outing, these are gonna have effect. These will not have effect if I am multi-outing, okay? Because I'm gonna be skipping this bus, this internal bus, essentially. So, here we go. Now, the symbols are gonna change as I adjust the compression. That's okay. I'm gonna compensate and adjust as I go, and you'll see me doing that. Now, notice on the parallel compression, I still have the mix at about 50%, okay? So I am, I am, actually utilizing the parallel compression in the plugin itself. This is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the master EQ. Maybe I want to tweak something, maybe I don't. I'm gonna play around with it. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I added a little bit of top endiness and I took out a little bit of the low mids at 250. Now with the master tape section, we can add drive, we can add saturation, we can add sonic, you know, juiciness to the entire drums. The drive is all the way off, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna crank it so you can really kind of hear and dial in with your ear on where and what is happening on the drum kit, okay? This is basically a tape machine on the drums. Super cool. You can do a ton inside the plugin, which I really, really appreciate. Lastly, with the grooves, there is a crim uh, groove pack that comes with the Bogren Digital crim drums. Uh, I don't know, man, this is super, super cool. It's a good balance, in my opinion, of simplicity with options. You don't get option paralysis and you don't get hung up on routing and all this stuff. Really, you have the tools available to do the things that you want to do. You know, you have enough to do what you need, in my opinion. And the per channel effects is super, super cool. There's all sorts of stuff here, all the inserts, all, all, the, all the necessary tools you need to get a great drum tone. 
I will link down below in the description if you would like more info on all things Crim Drums. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.